MovieWeb.com. I made a decision a long time ago to be the best doctor that I could be. Not the best husband, maybe, the best father, the best doctor. Dad, what happened? Are you okay? It's my last surgery. I don't have time for this. Well, you fall in love with someone, you change, and you give up certain things. It's weird not knowing if you're married or not. Uh, hey. Jack. Jack's still saying your best friend? You're my best friend. Don't play me. When do the guests arrive? Guests mean one tonight. Have fun for the both of us. Four nights, leaving Tuesday. Dinner is 7, 7.30 if you defer, because you are the, the only guest. Is something wrong with your table? I didn't want to eat alone. Oh, well, you didn't come here for the beach. No, I came here to talk to someone. It must have been very hurtful for you to be held responsible. This is kind of a goofy question just to start off the bat, but I was watching the movie, and for anybody that wants to get romantic with their lady, where exactly is the post office? Because I thought you were going somewhere a little bit sexy with it, then it almost looked like you were going into her armpit. I just want to clarify. <laughs> I was way beyond the armpit. That's what I thought, but there was just an I was into the like... deepest, most wonderful, fecund valley. Somewhere over in here. In a woman's body. No. The secret spot. <laughs> Are you serious? You oh, didn't know where I was going? <laughs> He's yeah, blushing, I know, I you're know. blushing, and Am I'm I blushing? cool I as a cucumber just, over yeah, here. Just, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, well, about. I want to know, how do you guys think the storm plays into the inner inner relationship that you guys are having in this film? Well, I think it's certainly a convenient metaphor yeah. for uh, the upheaval of nature. You know, nature hates a void, it will be filled, and we're coming into this meeting as full adults with full lives, certainly full of frustration and consternation, and we basically... Uh, you can't stop it. I mean, it's one of those forces that you can't be rational about. But it's, it's, it's a fact, you know, as much as we can control... The wind is going to blow here, hard and it might blow, blow the roof off. The hurricane and... comes and that's it. You, you prepare for it, you deal with it, you leave town, you stay in the house, whatever you do, you got to deal with it. And mm. it kind of makes us make a decision. And at that point, we make a decision basically to deal with each other, but it's actually to deal with ourselves. Now, your director, George, seems to have a lot of energy, and I know he's brought a lot of <laughs> yeah, energy yeah. into really, We his... have to drug him, usually, to just keep <laughs> him <laughs> just down a little bit, George. That's what I was going to ask. In some of these really <laughs> emotional <laughs> scenes, how uh, was he when he... Da, 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 like da, 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 <laughs> um, He... Oh. I adore him. I just want to be the coffee girl on the next movie he does just to be in his energy field again. He gives me, it's like three espressos. I'm so happy <laughs> by his enthusiasm and his clarity and his willingness to communicate. You'd be amazed at how few film directors have a gift for communicating yeah. I mean, what, they're, the theater, what they're going for. Has helped him. And as a personality type, he's just such a vibrant, gregarious guy. Mm -hmm. And he loves it. He loves the group of people. He loves that we're getting together to do something. He doesn't mince words. <laughs> well, I know you guys talked a lot about having worked together in the past, but I'm wondering, coming in, I think, on your third film together, mm -hmm. is there anything new you guys learn about each other as far as your craft and acting with each other? I think I learn every time I take a run at it. I mean, there is no perfect Nadia Comaneci 10. This is my references, you know. But, <laughs> I mean, do you know, I there's... It's very addicting, this uh, throw it at the wall, see if it sticks art form that we have, because film is weird. You, you know, it's edited, there's music, we have to promote it, you look at it. I can never really experience it the way other people do because I'm in it and uh, innately, you know, taken out of the story a bit. But you keep trying. And so <laughs> I'm very um, positively reinforced by this particular experience. It was really fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never heard anyone say, no, oh, oh, no, now I know what it is. <laughs> now, oh yeah, now I know acting. I figured it out. I figured it out, and I can do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't exist. I'm, I'm always kind of, I assume that there's going to be some moments in every film I do where I, I get surprised. And I do a lot of work. I, I know what basically I'm going to do in a movie. I don't know exactly. I don't want to know exactly, but I, I do my work, and I'm prepared. And, but I still assume that there's going to be stuff that, wow, I don't know where that came from mm -hmm. through me. Mm -hmm. 
And not that I could make that happen, but I prepared the ground enough that something mysterious could happen that probably has nothing to do with me. Looks this good if he has a dirty mind. <laughs> oh, yes, he's definitely a keeper. This could last forever. There's a kind of love that makes you feel that anything's possible. I want you to know that you can have that. One weekend changed my life forever.